Manchester United play Manchester City at Old Trafford on Sunday. Uh, probably the biggest game of the season. I know we've had a few big games now at home to Liverpool and away at Arsenal. Uh, but this really is probably the biggest of the lot because Manchester United, if they really want to be title contenders uh, this year, really need to, to get a positive result in this game. Uh, especially anything other than a draw will be uh, a bad result for Manchester United, in, certainly in this one. I mean, I, it was a bad result against Arsenal uh, a couple of few weeks ago, but we were three points ahead of them, and that was away from Old Trafford. This one's at home, so if we can't beat, if we lose to these to Manchester City at home, I think it's really going to put a massive dent in our, our title challenge. Uh, I mean, we could still challenge for the title, but winning it will be difficult because we've still got to go, then go to the Emirates Stadium later in the season, and we haven't got a very good record there. Uh, to be fair, we haven't got a very good record against Manchester City in recent years. Uh, the last few years, apart from, from that great game, uh, Manchester United and uh, Man City last season where we beat them 4-2. Uh, we played them really at the right time then. Manchester City weren't playing well at all. Uh, they were quite easy to beat. They were, they were letting in a lot of goals. And we, and we capitalised on that. We, started, we hit a good run of form. Uh, about five or six games where we... We scored quite a few goals and uh, we beat them. So uh, obviously a lot of this is when you play certain teams. Uh, at the moment, Manchester City have had their ups and downs like, like us. Uh, losing to Tottenham uh, a few weeks ago, seeing that, uh, where they were quite ropey at the back. There was other games where they've looked a bit shaky at the back. They're scoring a lot of goals. So that's, that's something to uh, fear because our defence hasn't always been that great. Uh, so we, we seem to, to make at least one mistake every couple of games. Uh, and give away some silly goals, so we're going to really have to have to be at it in this game. Uh, Manchester United obviously going into this on the back of that 1-1 draw and that fantastic win against Everton. Uh, obviously that was away from home, that one uh, in the Champions League, away in Moscow and obviously the Everton one, but that one was a difficult game. Uh, and we did dominate the game, so going into this game, obviously man whether Manchester United are favourites or not, I would presume they're maybe slightly favourites for the bookies because they're at home. But I don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But obviously they're without their two best players. Uh, companies come back from injury and played the last minute or so of their Champions League game. Didn't watch that game, but De Bruyne again got another goal. I heard that they were lucky to get through that tie uh, with a win. So I don't know. But going into this game, obviously they hit five, five past uh, Bournemouth and six past Newcastle. So they're scoring a lot of goals. I think they've scored 24 goals in the Premier League. We've only scored about, I think, 15. So they've scored a lot more goals than us. So we've got to be really wary of the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Raheem Sterling. Uh, I think, uh, well, obviously, uh, Wilfred Bonny will be playing up front in the absence of Sergio Aguero. I don't like to see any player injured, but him not playing is a real positive in Manchester United because he has fucking terrorised the shit out of Manchester United uh, in recent years. Uh, he's really scored a lot of goals against Manchester United. I know sometimes our defence has been poor in the last couple of seasons, but he's really uh, capitalised on that and uh, he's one I would really fear. So him not playing uh, is a plus. Uh, we could possibly get out City's uh, back four. Hopefully if Man Mangala and Otamende play. I did see Otamende play. I think it was against Tottenham and he had a very bad game. Uh, so hopefully we can get there. I haven't seen too much of him lately, so... He's probably improved since then, uh, but I know Mangala was, was a bit of a liability last season, but I think he probably has improved a bit. But we really do need to get at them because they have let, been letting goals in as well. Not a shitload, but they have been letting some in, and obviously against Tottenham, Tottenham capitalised a lot on some poor goalkeeping as well uh, there from Caballero, so he won't be in goal, but really got to try and capitalise on that. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, actually, because I think Manchester United are going to... I can't see Manchester United keeping a clean sheet in this game. We've been pretty awful uh, in some games at the back. Uh, I would expect a similar lineup to the one against uh, CSK in Moscow. Uh, one matter I would expect to come in, and I would expect Darwin to come in uh, at right back for Valencia. Obviously, uh, Jesse Lingard I didn't have a bad first half uh, against CSK in Moscow. Did one bit, one pretty good run. Uh, he likes to beat a man, but I would expect the experience of, of one matter and the quality of him to come back into the team. Now, probably Wayne Rooney will start again up front. A lot of people are criticising him for playing up front. Martial could go up front, but that would then be uh, dropping Herrera. Uh, apparently, Herrera did 
did take a blow to the ribs in that game. I'm not too sure. I didn't see that at the end there. So if he is, uh, has got a, a slight injury, maybe he will come out. Memphis Depay come back in. And obviously then Wayne Rooney would go back into that number 10 role. But we will have to see what happens there. But I, I, I think we've really got to be, be careful of the likes of Kevin De Bruyne in this game. Uh, but, um, I mean, I'm not too sure... I think it will be a high-scoring game. Sort of, I'm going to go for a 3-2 to Manchester United. I think we are going to, going to just hopefully scrape this victory in this game. You never know what you're going to get from Manchester United. One week we could be uh, good like we were against Everton, and the other week we could be horseshit like we were against Arsenal. Being consistent at the moment, we need do need to get some consistency going in. This really is a must-win game. Certainly a must-not-lose game. I mean, if we do draw this game, it won't be the end of the world. But we really do need it need to win if we want to stand any chance of winning the Premier League this season. Uh, please let me know in the comment section box below what sort of team you'd go for in this game. Uh, where do you see, see us uh, coming out stuck in this game? Uh, the likes of the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and Raheem Sterling. Who's, who's the danger man do you think for Manchester City? Please hit the like button. Uh, please also subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and uh, be back again after the match for our reaction. So Thanks for watching. Talk to you all again soon. See ya.